Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can put games on our two terabyte hard drive without any issues. This took me a little bit to uh, to figure out how to do it because uh, WinHip does not recognize it. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So we'll start off with WinHip. When running these programs for the PS2, you should always run as administrator. Go ahead and just run WinHip just so you can see. Now your drive may be different, but uh, the majority of two terabyte drives that I tried with this, it comes up the exact same. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. If we go to select drive, you can see it's right here. It's minus 184.99. I've tried two terabyte, or sorry, two two terabyte drives, and they both came up with that same number. Uh, if you go ahead and select it, there is a memory. Obviously, it's because it's negative. It's a negative, uh, negative number. So it, there's no way to actually add games to this here. And you know your PlayStation 2 drive works because you plugged it in with your network adapter and all your games do come up. So with a little bit of research, I came across hard drive dumper. So we'll do the exact same thing here. Uh, run it as administrator. Uh, say yes to it. Okay, and you can go through the network. I haven't tried that yet. I usually just take the drive, plug it into the computer. If you plan on copying over games, it's going to be a lot quicker if you plug it in. Uh, whether you plug it in directly with the SATA ports from the motherboard or you have a USB adapter, either or should work. Uh, but if yeah, you go local hard drive and then you can go ahead and select your hard drive. Okay, and it comes up with the uh, the size there. If we go to browse list, you can go ahead and show the list, and all your games do come up. Now to install a game, it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and browse. Uh, I do have a I do have a game that I just copied from I just copied from disk a few moments ago, so we can go ahead and just add it. It's Vice City. Um, just double click. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I should mention that this program does not let you do mass games. So what I mean by that, you can't select 50 games and go ahead and add it. You got to add each one individual. So once you do add it, you can hit add jobs. Okay. And then it comes over to jobs. So if you want that another game, you have to go over to install, browse for it, hit add to jobs. It does... Uh, it doesn't do them all at once. That's one down flaw with the program. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and just hit do the job. And it shouldn't take too long. Uh, it is pretty quick. I got mine plugged directly into the motherboard from SATA ports. So it is pretty quick. Now, depending on your USB, it may take a little longer. Um, but if you can go ahead and plug it in directly to the motherboard, I suggest that because it is a lot quicker than running it from USB. Now, another thing I want to bring up is if you're going to go ahead with artwork, um, it's better to add it to the drive than to try to get the artwork before you do it. Um, so let's just, we'll, uh, we'll close out of this here window. We'll let that copy over. Okay, so it does uh, come up here. You also need Java installed in order for this program to work, but uh, yeah, mostly everybody should have Java. So you can go ahead and hit OK there. So we can close out of that there now that we know we have our games. You can go ahead and show the list again. Um, let's go up to GTA Vice City. You can see that it has been added. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open OPL Manager. We'll go ahead and run this as administrator as well. And we'll say yes to that. Now your games may not all come up here. Um, what you want to do is actually come over to uh, tools, or sorry, settings, change mode. You just want to switch it to your local PS2 hard drive. Uh, as for the dumper, I don't think it really matters because we won't be using anything like that. Just go ahead and hit save once you're done. And then uh, if your games don't come up, just go ahead to local hard drive options, get game list, and hit OK. And then game list will actually come up. Now, if you want to download your artwork, obviously we, we're we going to need it for our OPL manager. 
can go ahead and go to batch action and then earth download now everything is automatically selected uh, replace if exists you don't really need to do that uh, obviously I do have some downloaded but we can go ahead and just download the remaining so we hit uh, start and it should just go ahead and start downloading everything and skip the ones that you already have so I have 59 there um, I think there's a couple with disk one and disk or sorry disk two and disk three I should say but uh, yeah it should uh, should go pretty quick here just give it a few moments okay as you can see there the uh, Sega one and Sega two I believe that is disk one and disk two Uh, here's one here, disc one, disc two. Okay, we're pretty much there. F 35 done. It should skip a bunch of them because I should already have them all downloaded. And if we go into our OPL, or sorry, our OPL folder, we go to OPL. I believe that they're in here. Alright. Okay, no, they're not in there. That's where I thought they were. In here, I guess. Yeah, and there we go there. So that they're basically all the uh the artwork that we'd copy over. Um yeah, we just copy them over to USB. Copy our art folder and then bring it over to the hard drive once we do get it plugged into the PS2 then we can just go ahead and do that from USB so once this is done I'll go ahead and get my USB plugged in now while we're waiting uh, 51 now Okay, and then we'll just uh, put that over here. 57. Okay, and the operation has been complete. We can hit OK on there. That is fine. We can close out. Go ahead over here. We do have all our artwork right here. So we can go ahead and just back up one. And we'll just drag that over to our USB. Now, depending on how many games you have there, it may take a little bit of time. Mine is going pretty quick. 25 seconds and it should be done. But while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get the hard drive ready, set up in the PlayStation. So once it's done, I will see you over at the PlayStation. Okay, so once we're over to the PlayStation, we'll scroll down to Launch Elf. Uh, whether you have W, Launch Elf, or U, Launch Elf, either one will work. We're going to go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to load in. Shouldn't take long. Okay, and once we're in, we're going to go ahead and hit Circle to go to the File Browser. We'll go down to Mass, which is our USB drive. Go ahead and hit Circle on that. And then we have Art, so we're just going to go ahead and hit X. And then we'll hit R1 and select copy by pressing circle. Then we'll go back up, hit circle. And we're going to go into hard drive zero. And from here, we do not have the OPL folder, which isn't a big issue. We can go ahead and go into sysconf fmcb. And we'll go into apps and then we're just going to go down to OPL. Go ahead and just launch it for the first time. Once we do launch it, it should create the folder for us. So we'll give it a few moments here to load. We should, there we go. 
So if we go ahead and hit circle to show up our game list, um, game list isn't coming up, but uh, if we go to settings and we scroll down to hard drive start mode, we'll just uh, change that to auto and then we'll go down to OK. And then we want to save our settings. And then saved. Now we can go ahead and hit circle. And our game list should come up, but as you can see, the covers do not come up. So that is fine. We can go ahead and press start. And then we'll go down to exit. And we'll give that a few moments to give a boot. Okay, so once we have it rebooted, we'll go back in there to our launch elf. It should have created a folder now, so we'll just give it a few moments here. Okay, and there we go. We go ahead and circle. We can go in by hard drive, and as you can see, we do have the OPL folder now. And we do have our art folder as well. So we can go ahead and just back out of there. And we'll go into our mass again. Go ahead and select our art by pressing X. Then we can hit R1 and select circle to copy. We'll back out of there. And we'll go into our hard drive. Go into our OPL folder. And then we can press R1 and we can hit paste by pressing circle. And we'll just say yes to overwrite it by pressing circle. Now depending on how much artwork you do have here, it can take a little bit of time. Uh, I think we have 50 games. It shouldn't take too long. Um, but yeah, I'll skip ahead. Okay, so we're just done there now. Uh, we can go ahead and hit circle to exit out there. We can scroll up and hit circle. And now we just need to get back into OPL just to load up the uh, the games. So we can go into hard drive and we'll go into sysconf and then our free McBoot and then our apps. Yours may be different. Uh, if you're using the card, it may be just listed different. But uh, if you do a reboot, you can always get into your OPL anyways. So we'll go into OPL and then we'll go ahead and launch the ELF. And we'll give it a few moments here just to load okay and there we go okay so now that we're in we can go into display settings and if we go into enable cover art we'll go ahead and select on go ahead and hit ok go to save changes and then hit back and then we can go ahead and hit circle for our list and there you go everything is displayed it does take a few moments but it shouldn't take too long to come up but yeah that's it for the video i hope you did enjoy it if you did go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button it really helps out the channel and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching